Assalamualaikum wabarakatuh. This is topic 2 uh, Personal Financial Statement uh, Tutorial on Part A, Question 1 And our session will discuss January 2018 Alif and Aurora Okay First, we will see the uh, question you need to construct balance sheet as 31st December 2017 then you need to construct a uh, cash flow statement so to prepare financial statement 25 marks uh, and then after the crucial part you need to calculate and command the financial ratio so uh, this question requests you ratio liquid asset to take home pay ratio and debt ratio and then task 3 to propose suggestion based on the individual cases or family uh, financial situation or their financial objective and task 4 is a short essay um, 5 marks okay in this section we will discuss A B and C. Alright, let, let's begin. Okay, um, we read the question line by line. Okay, um, just remind it again. In this uh, step 2, you need to recognize balance sheet items like liquid asset, lifestyle asset, investment asset, uh, type of liabilities that is current liability or long term liability. Um, and then at the right hand side is a step 3 recognize cash flow item that income or spending so uh, we put as inflow uh, as income um, uh, and uh, uh, and expenses okay so our focus is uh, 1st January 2017 and 31st uh, December 2017 so within one year a year before and year after uh, we need to be uh, uh, be careful uh, uh, on the date ok let's we start for the first paragraph Alif Arora has been married so uh, both of them uh, uh, have uh, one daughter that's Annabelle, uh, Annabella, so who is almost uh, one year old. And okay, in the second sentence, that Alif works in a private company as a marketing officer, earning cash flow take uh, a monthly uh, take home pay 2500 after deducting tax EPF uh, 11% respectively. Uh, meanwhile, Aurora works as teacher primary school earning a monthly take-home pay uh, of 2400 So, this paragraph or uh, in starting from this is a cash inflow. So, we will see this is monthly. So, you need to calculate in one year. Alright, we go for this second paragraph. This couple has been renting apartment. So, renting is cash outflow in the Shah Alam costing them 1200 per month so this is expenses um, uh, and they are contemplating to buy financial own dream house in Shah Alam next year but house price are getting too expensive so this is their financial objective uh, to buy a house okay uh, start from here currently Alif drive a Toyota Bios which he bought in January 2015 for 90,000 ringgit and he had paid 10% of the down payment interest rate is charged by the bank is 3.5% for 9 years as 31st December 2017 Alif still has a exactly seven more to pay off his car loan so here is a very very uh, 
there is a many um many information the key information so might be alif use a balance sheet long term and when he pay the expenses of the monthly monthly payment uh it could be uh it, it is a item in the cash flow so it be expenses so in this paragraph i will cover in detail after this um after after in the next session uh, in the next slide so we will hold this one first uh, let's move on in the third paragraph so you can see uh, having a one car sell a daughter nursery cost 300 ringgit is an expenses monthly transportation uh, cost is a uh, um, expenses also so uh, it should be in, in a monthly amount okay so be careful you need to multiply by 12 month okay so let's proceed at the box so first item credit card balance so this is like a current liability less than one year so it's considered as a current liability okay next ptpt and balance alif uh the he paid 100 ringgit so cash outflow is expenses but the uh the balance will be uh, 20,000 for the current liabilities uh, no it's a not current liability sorry uh, it's a long term liability uh, and Aurora also have a VTBTN so but Aurora paid slightly higher 10 ringgit so it's a uh, 110 multiplied by 12 but uh, Aurora less 2,000 than uh, her husband so is uh, 18,000 so consider as a balance sheet uh, and consider item as a long term uh, under balance sheet and personal loan balance so the balance is 8,000 um, and monthly commitment is a uh, 150 ringgit per month so it's also item in month so um, expenses like groceries, allowance, utility, astro, handphone bills and Hari Raya expenses short holiday is in August 2017 see it's uh, still in our timeline so we need to record this uh, insurance and rock tax 150 okay all this is uh, expenses but you need to be careful whatever it is in a monthly okay so tabung haji account balance alif have 2000 so it's a investment asset uh, aurora have 3000 is a investment asset uh, saving account see so this is a liquid asset so it's a considered as a liquid asset or current asset uh, this is also for aurora same goes for aurora um, iphone Current value is a iPhone 7 is a lifestyle asset. So EPF account balance is a investment asset. So balance sheet is a uh, lifestyle asset is iPhone C Aurora I Aurora phone. So and then motorcycle bought in 2010. So it's a uh, lifestyle asset. Toyota Vios is a lifestyle asset and household finishing current value is a lifestyle asset okay item in green is belongs to balance sheet the highlighted in red is a expenses okay so uh, again and again i hope that you and be able now to understand uh, what is a type of asset, lifestyle asset, investment asset, current liability, long term liability and then also known how to calculate expenses um, that expenses given in annual amount or uh, given in a monthly amount so you need to be careful uh, not to record the monthly amount but you need to multiply by month okay same goes to take home pay so you need to calculate for one year when you record in a cash flow statement okay uh, 
see you in the next video so we will just focus on this second paragraph in more detail thank you for listening and thank you for watching assalamualaikum